Merry Christmas guys and welcome back to the Bonville Cocktail Collection. Now we thought it was about time we shared with you volume two of our top Christmas cocktails. So here's five of our festive favorites for you to impress your family and friends with over this holiday season. All right guys, this drink is a Scandinavian version of mulled wine. It was called Glurg, uh, I think. I'm not sure I'll be correct on how that is pronounced, but we are gonna start off with a bottle of full bodied red wine. This is a Merlot Tempranillo blend. We'll put that in a large bowl. And then to that we are gonna add five cardamom pods crushed and five whole cloves, 60 grams of raisins. You can obviously adjust this, these quantities depending on how much of a batch you want. This is just based on one bottle of wine. 40 grams of flaked almonds and then the peel of one orange, the whole peel. Don't have to get it off all in one go. Oh, last but not least, cinnamon stick. Now, we're gonna leave this to stand at room temperature for 24 hours and we'll come back to it later. Okay, once your red wine mixture is rested for 24 hours, we're gonna heat it up. So take a saucepan. Put that on the heat. We want to bring it to a light simmer, not a rolling boil. Whilst that's warming up, we're going to add the last couple of ingredients. So that is sugar, and I have got about 150 grams of caster sugar. And we are going to use vodka in this because of its Scandinavian roots. But as with some of the other drinks, feel free to switch it for cognac or Calvados or bourbon. Okay, so we're just gonna let that warm up. Once all the sugar has dissolved and you're up to a nice simmer, we're gonna take it off the heat and strain out all the ingredients. Once that's strained and still hot, we're ready to serve. And we're just gonna ladle it into our mug here. And we'll just garnish it with a few fresh raisins and almonds. And that is glug. All right, guys, this drink is called a Tom and Jerry. It's kind of similar to an eggnog, but there's a few key differences. We're gonna start off by separating six eggs. We need the egg white and the egg yolk, and make sure you use a nice quality, fresh, free-range egg with a nice deep orange yolk. So once you've done that, you take the yolks in a large mixing bowl, and we're gonna mix those until there's quite a thin consistency. We start adding the sugar slowly. So this is 750 grams of caster sugar. Add it gradually. Okay, I'm about halfway through adding the sugar and it's getting quite tough to stir now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some rum. This is an Ajo Special from Havana Club. I'm gonna add 25 mils to the mixture. And we've got some spices that we need to add as well. First of all, we're gonna do maybe a quarter teaspoon of ground allspice, that's the same amount of ground clove. And then you can do a full teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay, mix that in. And then continue to add the sugar. Okay, so that's all the sugar in, and now we've got this quite heavy batter type consistency. We're gonna put this to one side, and then with another bowl, we're gonna whisk up the egg whites. So there's the six egg whites, chuck them in, get your whisk, it's gonna give you your forearms a good workout. Okay, so you keep whisking that until you've got a stiff consistency, like that. I hope you can see that. And then we're gonna take this mixture and fold it into the egg yolk mixture. Do it a bit at a time. And then just fold that in. So once you've got your egg whites folded in, you're gonna have a nice light 
batter. You can store this in the fridge, use it another time if you want. Add a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and it will stop it from separating. But we're gonna use this straight away. I've got here a glass mug that I've pre-warmed. We're gonna add two spoons of the batter. Try not to make a mess. Let's go for another one for luck, it's quite a small spoon. And then we're gonna add 50 mils of cognac. You can change this up if you want. You can go with rum again, or Calvados, or bourbon. Any of those will be delicious. And then we're gonna finish by topping that up with boiling water. Give that a stir. And we'll just garnish with a dust and nutmeg. And that is a Tom and Jerry. Next up, we've got another hot drink, which is a uh, hot spiced cider. Not a very imaginative name, but we're gonna start with a bottle of good quality cider. This is uh, organic cider from Wildwood. We're gonna go into a pan, and then add to that two cinnamon sticks, two cloves. I've got some cracked allspice berries, two or three, and some whole cloves, go for about eight. And that's it. Okay, so once your cider and spices have simmered for about two hours, we're gonna take it off the heat. I've strained it into this jug here. Make sure you strain it carefully, don't spill it everywhere. You can serve that if you want, it's, it's pretty much good to go. But we're gonna add some Calvados to ours. If you want, you can add some sugar, if you want it a bit more sweet. But we're just gonna stick with the Calvados. So we're gonna add 40 mils straight to the glass. We're gonna serve it from, and literally just top it up with the hot cider. And we're gonna garnish with a cinnamon stick. And that is hot spice cider. All right guys, next up we are gonna make uh, another slight variation on the eggnog, and this is called General Harrison's Nog. And this is a recipe uh, adapted from a Jerry Thomas recipe by our old mate Dale de Groff. And we are gonna start with more Calvados, go 50 mils of that. And more cider, and we're gonna go 70, 80 mils of that. Some sugar syrup, 15 to 20 mils, depending on how sweet your Calvados and cider are. And then we need some bitters. Dale recommends using his pimento bitters, but uh, we don't actually have it, sorry, Dale. So we're gonna use the Bitter Truth Creole bitters instead. A couple of dashes of that. And last but not least, we are gonna use a whole egg. So this is gonna need a real hard shake over ice. The cider is carbonated, so you're gonna to need to hold on pretty tight to this to stop it from leaking, but just, you'll manage. That should probably do it. I forgot to say, General Harrison was uh, the shortest serving president of America. I'm told he was only in office for one month before he died of pneumonia and he likes eggnog. And we'll just finish that off with a dusting of nutmeg. And that is General Harrison's nog. All right guys, last up we've got a really tasty recipe for a festive party drink, and this is a champagne punch. We're gonna do a shorter version of it for like two to four drinks worth, but we'll put the spec for the full version in the description. So we're gonna start off with our first ingredients. Just take a handful of pineapple chunks, a handful of mixed dark berries. So we've got blackberries, cherries, some grapes in there, some black currants. This is half a orange peeled and quartered and some pink grapefruit, like a quarter of pink grapefruit. A couple of spoons of sugar and then we're just gonna muddle that all together. Basically wanna keep muddling until all the sugar has dissolved and you've got as much juice as you can out of the fruits. That should do it. Then we're gonna add our liquor. First of all, 35 mils of maraschino liqueur. 70 mils of cognac. All right, give that a stir. Now you want to stick it in the fridge for a couple of hours. 
Okay, once that's sat in the fridge for a couple of hours, we're gonna strain out all the liquid. So take this big sieve. Pour out the contents. Just push out as much liquid as you possibly can. So that is now ready to use. So get your glass you're gonna serve in. We're just gonna use a big wine goblet. Put some ice in there. We're gonna go 50 mils of this liquid. And then just top with champagne or Prosecco or Carver, whatever you have. Beautiful. And then we can just finish that off with an orange twist. You can chuck some berries in there as well, whatever berries you used earlier. And that is a champagne punch. There you go, guys. Another five of our favorite winter warmers. Let us know how you get on with those in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Make sure you have a very Merry Christmas and we'll see you in the new year. Cheers. Guys, last up, we've got a really nice recipe for a festive pa party. <laughs> and... The f***ing nutmeg's not coming up. <laughs> then we're gonna add our liquor. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>